Welcome to, uh, not really a bootleg since this is actually officially licensed, a Oxford not Lego brand. Um, yeah, so technically they are their own thing, even though yes, you know, pieces are obviously based on Lego, but um, this is an official Korean company who's officially licensing a Japanese property called Crayon Shinchan. Um, if you live in the West, you might have seen Crayon Shinchan on Adult Swim where they completely butchered the show's humor by poorly written dub. Uh, so basically what happened was they took it, completely ignored anything from the Japanese side, aside from the names, and just made up anything as they went along. For example, the principal is in the Adult Swim version some weird Middle Eastern person or some other culture, I can't remember. They made him up as another culture as part of a joke, whereas in the Japanese version he's just a darker skinned Japanese guy. Um, and there are numerous stuff that just didn't get, quite get the humor of Shin-chan. In the Adult Swim version, they everything was cruel, crude and, and just aggressive and lots of swearing and stuff, whereas there's no swearing in the Japanese version. Uh, most of the jokes come across as Shin-chan is pervy, but at the same time he's also very innocent. <laughs> so you're not really sure if he's pervy because he's like an old man pervy, or he just doesn't get that it's wrong because he's a kid. That's part of the humor. And, you know, he's a cute kid, but whatever. Anyway, um, back to the actual thing. It says, made in Korea, it's got 190 pieces, and uh, the box is pretty nice. There's also another smaller set where it's just Shin-chan and two um, bumper cars. That was... Not special because bumper cars is nothing to really do Shin Chan. It's just like let's just stick a random character in it, and it's the exact same figure, so I didn't pick it up. Uh, but this bus is the kindergarten bus, and you also have Shiro, uh, which just means you know like white, white, whitey, and we have um, his uh, baby sister there, and uh, he has some um, actual Shin Chan images on the top. That's pretty cute, and uh, more Shin Chan images on the side, and more Shin Chan images on the back. Oh, it's another Shin Chan image on. The image on this side. So the box feels... Oh crap, I already damaged the box. Whoops. Um, the sticky tape on the side just to seal it. And yeah, the box is very interesting. First of all, it actually opens up with a tray inside, but it's, it's back to front. And as uh, you see here, the inside box has a flap that goes... It's a flap that goes back, back in, and here it just opens up like a hinge. Um, that's interesting. I find it interesting. So, uh, inside here you have a bunch of bags of gold all the pieces, and uh, there is a bunch of sticker sheets there, printed on transparent stickers, which is a shame. Uh, and it seems that all the figures themselves are individual, well these two, Shio and um, the big sister, are in individual packaging. Where's Shin Chan? Oh, he's not in individual packaging. And, of course, we have the instructions. So, same image as the cover of the box uh, on the back says download instruction www.oxfordtoy.co.kr so that's cool they have digital instructions oh they have a parts list on the back but there's no numbering or detailing on any of that and uh, the instructions seem pretty pretty easy um yep oh oh you have an extra torso for shin chan that's not advertised on the box oh he's got his school uniform figure um <laughs> Well, I guess you guys really should have advertised that. It's almost like having almost an extra figure just missing the head. So I'm going to assemble this and see how it goes. So the bus is built and we got a bunch of spare pieces here. So that's pretty good. Uh, no missing pieces and get bonuses. Uh, the bus itself... <laughs> I have not applied all the stickers because, turns out, the sort of um, lion or tiger pattern... Um, Tiger? No, leopard. And stripes is tiger. Yeah, lion? No, no pattern. Tiger. The uh, leopard or tiger patterns are these black lines there. The individual strips that are once applied um, are attached to multiple pieces. There's a, there's, a, there's a brick there, a plate there, a brick there, a plate there, and they, they sit across all of them. So I'm not sticking those stickers in. That's ridiculous. It's tiny little stripes. I'm not doing that. So. I did apply some of the stickers. Uh, this sticker here uh, rests on the entire 1x4, 2x4 plate. Uh, the front here rests on the 2x4 plate, but it does go off the edge into the sides there, so that's a little bit annoying. And these stickers there, they're on uh, two blocks, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, at some point, I might get a um, knife just to slide across it, so these bricks can be detached, and the sticker will just stay on them. Um, so yeah. 
So, uh, the pink is a bit reddish compared to official LEGO, and the red piece is a lot more crimson in colour uh, compared to official LEGO. Let's bring in an official LEGO Superman here, you can see uh, the cape. The red there is a little bit very different. Uh, also, there's this hint of transparentness to it, um, because it's probably a cheaper plastic. And uh, so instead of an actual bus door, you just get a generic door that you can open up. Um, some interesting pieces here, for example. Oh, uh, this, stay, stay on there. Oh, that's another piece falling off. Yeah, not the tightest thing. Um, this piece here is, uh, it's got a bar on one end. Bar on one end. If I just, yeah, in fact, let me just take off the top. Oh, and the whole thing comes apart. Ugh. Oh, anyway, it has a stud hole there and the bar that pops out of it, so that that's a thing that they've done. Uh, another interesting piece here, uh, you can see that this wheel is very different from your usual Lego wheel, the shape of the area, it's much bigger. And uh, this here, now this is cool, instead of like Lego where there's a hinge that just goes back and forth, there's actually, there's actually uh, three different, different areas where the uh, bar can slide into so it would make sense that this is a gear stick because at least there's three different bits it can slide into so let me just I mean, there's randomly there's just a gap there no brick goes into it so whatever uh, let's reassemble this because this thing's falling completely apart so this entire front piece is attached via one brick only until you put the plate on top and just plug that back in. So yes, the whole thing feels a little bit flimsy. Uh, so you've got all these windows there, and I guess the thickness of the edge of the window pieces is the bars that come down. Um, and the way to get inside is you, you remove the middle bit, uh, and hopefully this whole piece comes off, and you can access most of the bus. If you remove the back, it just feels like the whole thing starting to fall apart. So that's not too good. Um, it's not like Lego where they've designed it where there are only a few studs and the top can come off really easily. It's a bit iffy. The wheels run okay and the pattern of the wheels are... Uh, well, that's stuck. Come on, come out. Come on, scared I'm going to break this. Try another wheel. Come on, pop out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, on the other side has this sort of uh, older car pattern fashion going down. Okay, so bus to the back, and let's bring in the figures. So, um, we have our three figures here. Now, the ones that were in protected in baggies are actually soft rubbery plastic. Shiro here looks quite good. It looks like Shiro. It's got a little tail there. Oh no, it's got big copyright UI, CUI on the back. That's a shame. But he is actually painted all the way around. He's just got this little dog strap thing going all the way around. So it's a good looking shield. He's got a little bit of a hole there that does plug into studs. Let's bring the bus back in. Let's see if we can actually plug into the top there. Because if it's, if it's uh, shapes, okay. I'm just going to move on these bars. Uh, let's see, does he plug in? Can he plug? Yes, yes, he fits there. Uh, so he would fit on Lego plates as well, so that's good. I'm going to keep that there for now. Uh, and then uh, no articulation, of course, and single rubber piece for Chin Chan's sister. Again, looks pretty good. She's holding a rattle, I think. Something like a bottle. Uh, oh, she's got the copyright thing on the back of her head as well. And she's got a hole there. Oh. And then does she plug in? No, she's far too big to plug into anything. So I'm guessing I can use one of these spare pieces, the yellow one, because that makes sense. And then, then, then she should be able to plug it into stuff. So oh, you can do that. So that's a thing. Um, and as for Shin Chan, he's actually a figure, the only f figure in this box. Um, so yes, uh, this figure looks like this inside. And um, if we bring in the official Lego Superman again, there he is. Uh, let's see how compatible he is. Now if you, you cannot plug the leg in because this body looks like that. Now if you had a bootleg figure, maybe Deku or something, then you plug this in, but why would you want to? There's no articulation on this leg, uh, it's just flat, you know? And if you get the Shin Chan body, uh, you can sort of rest him on top of an official Lego body, but 
Oh, it stays on there pretty much, but there's a huge gap in the middle. So they're not really that compatible. And um, the arms are symmetrical, front to back. So they do look a little bit weird. As for height, this one is shorter than the regular. So this, this, this is probably why he's like this, because he's meant to be a kid, so he is a little bit shorter. But um, a much, but he's the same height as a Xingyuan bootleg, where they have articulated short legs. So I much prefer they did that. So this is just yellow and red. As for the other body, is this uniform. And these arms look like they're broken because, you know, they're flat, whereas a legger arm, you know, they have a little bend there to, so you know which one's front, which one's back. So these look a bit, a little bit weird. The skin colors on the plastic hands are also far too red, far too orange. And there's Shin Chan. Uh, his head's too big, <laughs> I think, for this body. It's also, again, a rubbery. And again, copyright stuff prints on the back. So yeah, his head's far, far too big. Um, hmm. So I have like a crappy Shin Chan from Taobao um, that we viewed previously. That's meant to be like little capsule toys. And we just, I do have him in school uniform, so I can plug his head in. And hey, uh, they're roughly the same size. I think this that one has a slight bit, a little bit smaller. Colors far too pale, far too orange, so that's not as good. Um, just get another head that uh, I think would be a good size, just a random one, is uh, a sleepy Shin Chan. So if I just take off the official head, we have a sleepy Shin Chan head, which um, actually that's too small. Hmm, you're gonna have to find one that's a good size, but uh, so. Yeah, the crappy Chinese ties are too small, and uh, this, this one here, I, I do think is too big. Um, so, there we go. So, yeah, the uh, head color, uh, the baby, his baby sister, and Shio there are really nicely done. They look good. Um, I mean, I can't imagine what kind of minifigure or Lego build thing they would be. But uh, as is, they are pretty good there. And uh, the bus itself is a nice build. Uh, the plastics don't irritate at all. I'm gonna get this out of her butt. And <laughs> and um, yeah, the yeah the bus is a nice build. Uh, the pink, the colors and stuff are a little bit off compared to official Lego. Uh, you would you would still have much in, more enjoyable time building this out of official Lego. Uh, the piece count, it is a little bit cheaper than Lego, but not that much cheaper. So I do feel like, I feel like that this should cost the same as a bootleg. But it doesn't. It, it costs more than that because it's still an officially licensed product. So that's a little bit irritating because I don't think the quality quite reaches uh, what the price is. So the whole bus feels a bit spongy, kind of like Xingyuan blocks, but there's, ne there's never anything that's too tight, uh, which is good. And so the fear of breaking anything is a lot less. Um, however, the, the it, it does feel durable, like sturdy, once it's done, but during the building process, the little bits just feel like, mm, is that going to fall apart? Um, so it's it's good for what it is, but it can definitely be better. Now, I do hope they do more of these, instead of a bus like this, because um, for a bus like this, it feels like there should be other characters in here, not Shin-chan and the baby. Uh, and his baby sister, or Shiro, it should be his the other kids, or the teacher, or the headmaster, who's uh, often seen driving this bus from the show. Instead, these characters would have been much better if they released a set that's a part of their house. Maybe the living room, or the kitchen, those are the two most common ones, or even the toilet. That would make much more sense to have these characters in there. Uh, still, this is, there's only two boxes been released, so who knows if they'll do any more. I hope they do. Um, yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. And bye bye now.